Hey guys, Lazy Man here. Hey, as promised, I'm gonna go ahead and do a box opening on the EVGA Classified GTX 590. Now this is the hydrocopper version, and it, within that box there's two cards. Not just a single GPU, but actually two 590 hydrocoppers. So anyway, uh, as you guys can see, I mean, look how large that box is. That is one massive box. So let's uh, take off the lid and see what's inside. Now originally the client had opened this box and so there are a couple of minor things that are missing and I'll point those out here in a minute. All right, as you can see when I take off the lid here, um, you know, there's quite a, quite a bit of foam here to protect everything. But over here what we have is a poster that EVGA sends out. I'll open that up and see if you guys can see that. You can see a little bit of it. But then what else is that comes with this that's not in the box, now let me move that poster over here, is you would get a t-shirt and then a mouse pad. And from my understanding, the mouse pad is actually a pretty nice uh, mouse pad. But anyway, I, I'm assuming the client already took that out. And then under here, there's really nothing. So I don't know uh, what that's all about. Then after we take this off, and this is what we have here. So first off, we have the EVGA um, driver and software CD. Now, as we all know, we're not gonna install the drivers off this CD. Definitely go to the website, download uh, the newest drivers, but there is probably some uh, overclocking software on here that you might wanna use. Again, if they is, see if there's a new version of that. Also, you've got the, uh, the EVGA sticker. Then you've got the EVGA classified insulation manual. And hell, if you're gonna buy these two cards, I don't think you're gonna need this. But I think they need to include that in, in the box regardless. Then you've got two warnings. Well, I guess one for each card. These are attention. Uh, the graphics card needs to cool for two minutes before touching or it may be a little warm. So, then what you get uh, as far as adapters, uh, they do give you, these are six pin to eight pin adapters. And there's four of them, two for each card. And then here we have the SLI bridge and then two uh, looks like mini display port to HDMI adapters. So you get two of those. Then up here we have a DVI to HDMI. We got two of those. And then here we have HDMI, or excuse me, DVI to VGA. Two of those. Again, when when is someone going to use a VGA adapter? You know, maybe someone, if you're going to buy these cards, most likely you've got a monitor that doesn't even have VGA. But just in case, they, they provide those. And then these two bags are just a couple of the water cooling fittings, a couple uh, barbs with a couple plugs. Well, that's pretty nice. All right, then under both of these, we have our cards. And so let's go ahead and take one out and see what these look like. Okay, now again, the client has already opened up the box, took out one of the cards, so this bag's already open. Now, don't be falling on me. All right, back up there. Now you just stay, all right? All right, now here we go. Now this is the EVJ Classified 590 Hydrocarper. Hydrocopper. And here, let's get this off so we can see what this baby really looks like. Now, you guys ready for this? I mean, it looks pretty good there, but let's see if we get that off. All right, look at that puppy. And these thing, this thing is heavy. We're gonna put this on a scale and see what this thing weighs. All right, we got our two eight pin connectors right there. It's got the uh, 
heat plate on the back, which looks nice. And then for connections, we have three DVI ports and one, wow, it looks like the client might have bent this. Well, I can bend that back. Shouldn't be that major. But then here we have a uh, display port, mini display port adapter. So each one of these cards is capable of powering up to three monitors. So that's pretty nice. Wow. I don't like to see nothing bent, but again, it's pretty minor. If you can see that right there. All right, so uh, let me take out the other one. Let's see if the other one's bent, too. Well, he's actually opened this one also. Well, this one looks fine. So anyway, there's the two cards. Wow, isn't that sweet? These are going to look nice in there. All right, so let me uh, go ahead and clean this up, and then we'll just tell you a little bit about the specs. Hey guys, before we look at the specs, uh, let's go ahead and weigh this bad boy. I bet you guys go ahead and try to guess what this thing weighs. I don't know if any of you guys will be able to nail this, but uh, go ahead and give it a try. What do you guys think this thing weighs? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the scale, and then we'll see. All right, look at that, 3.2 pounds. Now, whoever thought that thing would weigh that much? Now, put two of those in the case. I mean, we're talking about over six pounds of weight on that motherboard. And there's no way I'm going to be able to ship this to the client with the cards in. And these are some heavy motherfuckers. All right, guys. It's crazy. All right, guys, the specs are as followed. 630 megahertz core clock chipset, three gigabytes of GDDR5 memory with 3,456 megahertz effective memory clock, 768-bit memory interface, 1,260 megahertz shader clock, and 1,024 CUDA cores. So anyway, guys, this has been the unboxing of the EVGA classified 590 hydrocoppers, and I appreciate you guys watching. All right, till next time. This is Lazy Man.